Okay, so I'm doing a full home inspection on a brand new manufactured home. Brand new. First of all, up here on this roof, it's hard to see, but there is tons of debris. There's tons of staples, tons of fasteners. They're just laying up here that are eventually going to rust and become a nuisance uh, to the roof. Uh, but then also, there are so many shingles that are just in terrible condition already. Brand new. Brand freaking new. Oh, give me a second to get over here. There you go. Look over here. It's hard to see up this ridge, but you see all these buckled shingles. Also, if you notice, right here, there's a line right, right about here. That's uh, where the, the shingles were folded over, creased. There's a little bit more on this side where it's creased. Tons of more debris. Look at this. Broken shingles, staples, screws. I mean, you name it. This is such poor workmanship. Terrible flashing job on the vent. Look at this. <laughs> they haven't even laid the shingles down properly on the back side of them. This one's not even that bad. There's one over there that's way worse. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Yeah, you can see the shingle sticking up right there. Oh, skylight. Uh, the way that it's, the shingles are laying around it is questionable in my opinion. I've already sent pictures to my friend Eric at uh, Tampa Roof Repair. See what he thinks about it. Uh, one of my CrossFit buddies, really good guy. You can see where they just, they're trying to pat, patch it up. I don't know if you can see the sealant. Uh, right here on this shingle where it probably wasn't laying properly so they're just trying to make it look decent however they can so they can move on to the next job and do a shitty job on their roof as well <laughs> oh what else there's more there's there's but wait there's more there's definitely more uh more damaged shingles over here buckled same it's weird on both sides uh, on on that peak end and this one here, uh, the top of each of these gable ends, it's it's cre they're creased for some reason, but they're in terrible condition. It's so hard to see on the video. A lot of damage on this th this side. Uh, the, th these ones are or this one over here are these ones that are uh, buckled. Uh, looks like they were folded this way and this way at some point. What else? What else? I know I saw. I'm trying to remember everything. More, more buckled shingles. Uh, see a damaged one here. Look at this. There's another one. Yep. Somebody stepped on it probably and effed it up. And they don't care because it's not their house. I mean, dude, this is just this, this is terrible. Like, it's, I feel so bad for this person. Yep. There's another, another spot right here. Another shingle. I don't know if I showed this one at the beginning of the video or not. Uh, where else we got some more damaged shingles? I remember there. Yep, right here. This is why I highly recommend getting a full home inspection, even if it's a brand new house. Oh my God, this is not even everything. Look at this. So they, they put the sealant on the uh, fasteners here. They just did a shit job on it. There's another one up here that I found that's like barely even sealed. Maybe it's that one. I don't know. Plus the ceiling. This stuff cracks. You see how it's already cracking? I'm sorry. You can already see how it's cracking already. And this thing's new. It won't take it long. The sun, the sun is just hell in Florida. A lot of these shingles are lifting. It's hard to see these gaps so much until I get close to them. You know, look, I get it. They're ridge shingles, and sometimes they're kind of hard to get to lay. But it's I've been inspecting long enough. I can see when a roof is just kind of trash but, yep yeah. in all its glory oh and then of course on top of that these are three tab shingles uh, they're like the cheapest shingles in Florida they don't last that long you gotta remember too this is a manufactured home a typical shingle roof Florida 20 years of life um, I've noticed over the years just by doing estimates and stuff and how old roofs actually are that typically on a manufactured home you get closer to 17 15 to 17 years uh, so you're already losing five or five three to five years of life on a manufactured home road why there is no ventilation 
there's nothing to let all that hot ass air escape from the attic so it just bakes the shingles even more so that's a little informational video just to show you stuff I look at when I'm up on a up on a roof um, I don't know if you noticed over here on the on the two end ridge shingles I see it all the time where they put nails in these and don't uh, actually seal them luckily they did on this this one uh, but just look at all that freaking debris all the, there's I see literally 30 staples or so right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten screws eleven twelve yeah just there's screws everywhere man and people just throw them up here so like I said I highly recommend doing a full home inspection Especially when you have that one year warranty, like you go back to them and say, hey, look, I found this, this, and this. Trust me, I found other things too. Like there's sections of the flooring inside that weren't level and crooked walls and all kinds of stuff. Look, there's another broken shingle there too. Crazy, right?